In this video, I want to show you how you can try Blackboard Collaborate um, in the Week 11 lesson. And I'd like you to try this to make sure that Collaborate's going to work for you. Otherwise, we'll have to find some other way of doing your presentation. So you go to Week 11 lesson and the assignment Try Collaborate. There will be a link there. It may not look quite like this, but if you click that, it's going to open up Collaborate. I have a session running for the whole week, and it's open from 8 in the morning until 8 at night for each day of the week. So what it's going to do, if it's the very first time you've used Collaborate, it may download a driver and ask you to install that. It goes very quickly, and it's uh, totally legit. Otherwise, it's going to ask you if you want to open that launcher, that driver. So I'm going to click OK. It goes away, and it's going to verify the application. It's going to come back and say, do you want to run this? Yes. And it's going to open up Collaborate. And what I have here is a audio and video window. If you're running a webcam, you'd actually see your face there. Below that are talk and video buttons. The important one is the talk button. You need to click this. Let me go ahead and do it now. You need to click the talk button in order for your voice to be recorded in the recording and for other users to hear you. So you got to remember to click that whenever you're talking. Here's a chat window where you can send chat messages to the room or to moderators. I'll say hello, and it shows up in a chat list here. The chat and the presentation can be uh, saved with a file, save, chat, or file, save, whiteboard. Um, but that's something that you would do after uh, a presentation. Finally are the participants, and everybody who gets into Blackboard or into Collaborate should have moderator status. That means you can load content and you can do various other things. Now, if you don't see your talk button jumping like mine is, you can do a audio setup wizard. Go up to this little red wheel, click that. Oh, it can't be run while you're talking. So let me stop talking and click the setup wizard. You have to pick whichever uh, speakers you're using, something on your computer probably. So I click that, click play. Welcome to the audio setup wizard. Okay, Did stop. Were you able to? Yes. Now I'm going to check my microphone. So I have a couple of microphone options. I'm using my webcam. So when I click OK and click Record, testing, 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 play it back. Testing, testing, testing. So my setup is OK. And if yours turns out to have problems, it will try to suggest things to help you. Okay, now I'm going to load a PowerPoint file. I'm going to go up here, click Load Content, go to my desktop. I'm going to load a file called Mobile PPTX. And it's going to open PowerPoint and go through the slides, actually. And it's making a copy of each of the slides. That's what it's doing here. And when it's done, it opens a page explorer. And the page explorer has all the slides. And by double clicking on the page explorer slides, you can change what others are seeing in Collaborate. So I've loaded my presentation. I'm going to have to remember to turn on my talk. OK, and it's bouncing back and forth. 
And then I'm going to start my recording. So I click Start. Recording started. And now I'm recording what I say. So I can say something about slide number one. Go to slide number two, say something about that. Slide three. Finally, slide four. And when I'm done, I can stop the recording. Click OK. Recording and stopped. Now I've stopped the recording. Uh, we can do some interaction either with uh, microphones or with chat or something like that. But when I'm all done, I'm going to simply exit from Collaborate. Do I really want to leave the session? Click OK. And it takes a while to shut down. There we go. Now I'm going to go back to my Blackboard lesson. Oops, wrong one. And I'm going to open up that session again. No, I'm not. Cancel. Pardon me about that. What I'm going to do is go up to don't need content collection. I'm going to go up to Tools in the menu. I'll have to make that one visible. Click Tools, and one of the options is Blackboard Collaborate. Click that. And then there's an option for Recordings. Click that. And now I see that I've done a couple of recordings today. This is the most recent one. So when I click on it, it's going to actually open up Collaborate again, and it's going to play that session back. And we'll just watch how watch a little bit of how it starts. Click Run. Cross our fingers that it's OK. Here's Collaborate. Takes a while to load. Recording. It says Recording Started. And I'm going to say something about slide one, and then I'll move on to slide two, and then I'll move on to slide three, and finally I'll do slide four. And when I'm done, I can stop the recording. Stop. Okay, so that recording worked out okay. Normally, uh, if you leave the recording running for the whole session, you'll see the chat and everything else. But I'm going to leave now, and I want you all to try the um, try Collaborate sometime this week. If you have any problems, let me know. Um, it's not required that we use it, but it's a pretty handy and easy thing built into Blackboard. Thank you.